Tonight, new rules are in place for anyone planning to fish from the Skyway Fishing Pier. These changes are to protect pelicans that often die after getting hooked or tangled in fishing lines. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay at 530. I'm Courtney Robinson. Hey, I'm Josh Sidorowitz. This will impact what hooks and gear that anglers can use, and some argue what they'll now be able to reel in, too. 10 Tampa Bay's Hannah Deneen explains what you need to know. Starting October 1st, there will be new rules here at the world's longest fishing pier, Tampa Bay's Skyway. Annual education will be required of anglers. Hook and line gear with more than one hook will be prohibited from November 15th through March 15th. And the use of more than two fishing lines at once will be prohibited year round. Hours ago, FWC leaders voted to pass these changes. There's three eyes that passes. For months, these proposed changes divided conservationists and anglers. It said that true compromise means both parties leave dissatisfied, and that seems to apply here. A little disappointed with FWC. Mike Gaby goes by Grouper Mike on the pier. He believes the rules are based on bad data and plans to fight them. They haven't wanted to hear the angler's side since the get-go. This sets up for a challenge as well as a class action lawsuit. As for the Pelican advocates, they say these rules don't go far enough. We're satisfied with the gear restrictions, um, no multi-hook um, gear, but we wish it was at least six months instead of just four months. Violating these new rules will result in a second degree misdemeanor, but FWC says officers will first take an educational approach as they always do with new regulations. In St. Petersburg, Hannah Deneen, 10 Tampa Bay. According to FWC, they will monitor the impact of these changes and there will be a full review in two years.